Thank you so much for downloading this episode of Positively Trek. We truly do appreciate each and every one of our listeners, and I'd like to especially thank our Patreon supporters. Thank you to our Constitution Class supporters, Jim Stoffel, Joyce Marin, and Paul D. Kinnear. If you'd like to become a supporter of Positively Trek and join our crew, please go to patreon.com slash positivelytrek. You can get early access to episodes, exclusive content, shoutouts, associate producer credits, ad-free episodes, and more. Again, that's patreon.com slash positively trek. Thank you all, and live long and prosper. Welcome everyone to another episode of Positively Trek. I'm one of your hosts, Dan Gunther, and a little bit different this week, flying solo. I have no co-host this week. Due to unforeseen circumstances, the episode that Barry and I had planned to bring you this week has to be delayed a little bit just with life and that sort of thing getting in the way. We are, of course, educators. I mostly work as a substitute teacher, so my outside of work commitments aren't nearly as onerous as Barry's, who is a full-time teacher. And we're, of course, getting towards the end of the year right now. So things are getting a little bit crazy, but rest assured we still have an episode for you because there's a lot of news in Star Trek over the last couple of weeks that I really want to bring you and to talk about. So first of all, fresh news today, the day that I am recording this, May 24th, 2023, we have a brand new season two trailer, a full length trailer for the upcoming season of Star Trek Strange New Worlds, which draws on June 15th, so very, very soon now. Let's take a listen to that trailer. You gonna start the engine sometime soon, Erica? <laughs> Don't worry, I did this a hundred times during the war. It's like riding a bike. I sense a tension, a feeling that something's in the air. My God. Our job puts us up against death. We might not like it, but we do have to face it. Hold on to your saddles. We are explorers. It's easy to forget how awesome that is. That's the mission. It's what we love most. I have this crazy theory. I love a crazy theory. What does this mean? I don't know. Shut up. Do you know the odds of all of us being here at this time? It's improbable. And yet, here we are, together. Surprise! Live long and prosper, Mr. Boimler. I, I'll, you also live and... So lots to unpack in that trailer. Longtime listeners of Positively Trek will know that one of my all-time favorite characters in Strange New Worlds is Erica Ortegas, and we get a nice feature on her doing some fancy shuttle flying there. Uh, seems to be kind of a, a maneuver designed to maybe get in undercover and, and not draw attention to yourself by making the shuttle look like a meteor or something like that. Pretty cool stuff. Always happy to see Erica Ortegas and Melissa. Navia, one of my favorite people to follow right now on social media. Love her, love her character. Beyond that, we have features on a number of other characters. Of course, we see most of the main crew. Pike gets featured in some kind of badass action scenes. We also have, of course, Spock. Chapel and Mabenga appearing to be leaping into the vacuum of space. We also see the new chief engineer Pelia, played by comedy legend Carol Kane. And also a great deal of Lieutenant James T. Kirk footage here, played by Paul Wesley, teaming up with 
Lieutenant La'an Nunian Singh, they seem to be involved in that kind of time travel bit. We see what looks like modern day Earth. And we also see a bit of Captain Batal. And it would appear that she and Pike have kind of made amends after she came aboard and arrested Pike's first officer at the end of season one. So interesting to see her. I'm glad that they're bringing her back as kind of a recurring character and that we'll see the continuation of her relationship with Captain Pike. We have some bits with Ethan Peck's Spock drinking with the Klingons, kind of seeing a little bit more of that that we saw in the teaser trailer, as well as some interesting interactions, let's say, between him and Christine Chapel. Uh, curious to see where that storyline goes. We know kind of where it ends up in the original series, but it's kind of cool to see the beginnings of that here and kind of what what we see in the original series is based upon. So... Yeah, I know there will probably be some fan division about that, but, you know, what is new Star Trek without some fan division? And we also seem to get the meeting between Uhura and James T. Kirk, so that's kind of cool as well. But of course, the bit that everyone is talking about right now that the internet is exploding over is the appearance of Ensign's Mariner and Boimler from Star Trek Lower Decks as their live action versions in Strange New Worlds. So this is pretty exciting to be able to actually see footage of them interacting with the crew on the Enterprise in their Lower Deck style uniforms. And the end of that trailer with Spock giving his live long and prosper and Boimler just stumbling over his words. He is in perfect form there, totally inhabiting that character. Absolutely love it. And his hair is purple, although as Jonathan Frake said in a recent appearance on the Pod Directive podcast, uh, not as purple as he would have liked. So I, I, I think it looks good. I think it's a, a nice balance between realism and... And that kind of crazy purple hair he's got in Lower Decks. So I, I like that they went with that and they didn't just make it, you know, dark brown or black or something like that. It is definitely purple and I love it. So along with that trailer, we also do have a new poster that was released today for Strange New World Season 2. And it's definitely an interesting design, kind of this multicolored Star Trek Delta in the background, we have planets and comets and meteors and, and the Enterprise flying around with this big, huge nebula. And of course, our main crew featured front and center with Pike, Spock, Una, Mabenga, Ortegas, Noonien Singh, Uhura, and Chapel. Interesting that Pelia, Carol Kane's character, is not on this poster. And also interesting is that Chapel is kind of in black and white and a little bit in the background. Curious as to the reason behind that choice. Interesting choice there for sure. Definitely a beautiful poster, but uh, yeah, has me kind of wondering exactly what is going on this season and, and why they made certain design choices. But all in all, definitely very excited for Strange New World Season 2. We also did get a few promotional images of Mariner and Boimler with a better look at their uniforms. There's a shot of them in the transporter room and in the briefing room as well. I'm very, very excited for this season and that crossover episode. I'm very curious about. Now, getting into some more Strange New Worlds news, this kind of hit the internet right after our last episode dropped. It seems that the season two episode titles have been released, or maybe not released through an official source. This maybe looks like a, a sort of leak. I've looked into this a little bit, and they there's no reason to assume that these aren't legitimate episode titles. I don't necessarily know that Paramount wanted them to get out, but if these are legitimate, and they look to be, I have no real reason to think that they're not, there's some interesting things that we can maybe glean from the titles. So we have titles for all 10 episodes. Uh, the first episode coming back from the break is called The Broken Circle. And I, I have to admit, all I have in my head when I hear that title is Johnny Cash singing, Oh, the circle won't be broke. Anyway, I won't subject you to my singing voice. I think perhaps not having a co-host here to kind of rein in my uh, tendencies there has made you, the listener, suffer. But yeah, The Broken Circle is the season premiere. 
second episode, Ad Astra Per Aspera, which is to the stars through adversity or through struggle. Uh, this would actually be a motto of early Starfleet in the 22nd century. We saw that on the Starfleet Command logo a couple of times during Enterprise. Number three continues one of my favorite traditions in Star Trek episode titles, and that is a Shakespeare quote. It is called Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, which is, of course, from the Scottish play Macbeth. And uh, one of my favorite Shakespeare plays, I love Macbeth for a number of reasons. And that monologue in, in which Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow is spoken is one of my favorite parts of that play as well. So uh, some speculation out there, maybe just on the face of it, possibly a time loop episode. I mean, that's the perfect title for a time loop episode. Episode four is called Among the Lotus Eaters. So Lotus Eater typically refers to a person who spends their time indulging in pleasure and luxury rather than dealing with practical concerns and, you know, maybe has to do with addiction or hedonism or something like that. Uh, definitely um, something that Star Trek has played with theme-wise. Again, this is just complete speculation based only on a title. So I'm not sure what this episode is about, but it feels like an allegory type episode, which to be fair, most Star Trek episodes are. Episode number five is called Charades, which I don't know maybe what this episode's about, but quite honestly, as I said, when I was guesting on a recent episode of the Infinite Diversity podcast, I would absolutely just watch an hour of this cast playing charades. If that's all this episode is... I'm okay with that. That sounds great. Uh, number six, Lost in Translation. Just throwing it out here as a guest, an Uhura episode, possibly, uh, having to do with communication with uh, an alien species or something like that, or a misunderstanding based on a miscommunication or something like that. Episode seven is listed here as Those Old Scientists, which, I mean, that obviously is the crossover episode with Lower Decks. Those old scientists refers to, of course, the TOS era, Jack Ransom <laughs> called the Kirk Spock era TOS, referring to those old scientists, you know, Spock, Scotty, those guys. So uh, that's there's no question in my mind, of course, that that is that episode. Question number eight we have called Under the Cloak of War. My guess here is that this is the Klingon episode or, or has to do with Klingons anyway. Maybe the scenes we see of Spock drinking with the Klingons that could have something to do with this. Uh, episode nine, Subspace Rhapsody. Could this be Star Trek's first musical episode? I don't honestly know how I'd feel about that if that does turn out to be the case, but I have an open mind. I'll watch it. I'll reserve judgment until we actually see it. So uh, again, no idea if that's actually what this is, but uh, you know, uh, let's see. <laughs> it could be pretty cool. And finally, episode 10, the season finale, uh, hegemony or hegemony, depending on how you prefer to pronounce it. The Gorn have been referred to their government as the Gorn hegemony or the Gorn hegemony, depending again on how you want to pronounce it, which, uh, you know, American or British. But yeah, this could be something to do with the Gorn. We've seen the Gorn in the episode trailers in or in the se season trailers. So it could very well be that this has to do with the Gorn. So yeah, those are the episode titles that we have. I guess time will uh, bear out whether these were accurate or not, or if this is just some big hoax, but they sound legitimate to me. I, I think this these sound like very plausible Star Trek episode titles. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, report on these episodes as they air, of course, and hopefully these titles are correct. Otherwise, you just listen to 10 minutes of me blathering on about completely useless information, uh, which, you know, I mean, it's kind of sometimes our stock and trade, right? So anyway, moving on to our final news story this week, uh, just a short episode this week, guys, I do apologize. We will be back with regular episodes shortly, but uh, we're continuing on with the strange new worlds news because IDW is launching a new Star Trek Strange New Worlds comic miniseries in August. So uh, this would be their second tie-in to Strange New Worlds. We had, of course, the Illyrian Enigma, 
which was uh, set between season one and season two and has to do with Una's situation at the end of season one. But this one is their second one. Like I said, it's called Scorpius Run. So the first issue of this comes out on August 23rd, one week after season two finishes airing. And uh, the official synopsis is as follows. Set course with Captain Pike and the crew of the USS Enterprise to the Scorpius Constellation. As they venture into the unknown, the Enterprise crew learn what it truly means to traverse through the strange and unfamiliar when they lose contact with Starfleet and find themselves trapped in unexplored space. So on the face of it, this would appear to be kind of a much more straightforward Star Trek exploration type adventure than the Illyrian Enigma was. But uh, it is written by the same writing team, of course, Kirsten Beyer and Mike Johnson, with the art being done by Angel Hernandez, uh, who has done tons of Star Trek comics before. He worked with Beyer and Johnson on previous tie-ins, uh, most recently the Star Trek Picard Stargazer miniseries, which we covered in a recent episode of the Positively Trek Book Club. Speaking of the Positively Trek Book Club, I feel like a huge catch-up is required for the comics, which brings us to one last little thing I wanted to mention, not really a news story, but the fact that the video game Star Trek Resurgence has just dropped this week. I haven't had a chance to play it myself yet. However, there are quite a few people out there who are playing it. There's even some people live streaming playing it and doing already playthroughs and stuff online. Definitely worth checking out. If I could plug a fellow Star Trek YouTuber, Textrek, he is doing some uh, live playthroughs. In fact, as I record this right now, he's uh, live doing his second part on his channel right now. So youtube.com slash Textrek, T-E-X-T-R-E-K. Great guy, wonderful YouTube channel. And uh, this game looks like a lot of fun. Now, the reason I said this kind of leads into this is there is actually a comic prequel miniseries to Resurgence. And I think Brandy Jackala and I are going to be doing that in an upcoming book club episode of Positively Track. I'm definitely looking forward to reading that. I haven't even read those at all yet, but I'm definitely going to be reading those very soon for that upcoming episode. Uh, again, the timing, we couldn't get it out quite before the game dropped, but you know, still check it out. Uh, if you haven't read that mini series yet, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'd love to hear people's thoughts on it, whether they enjoyed it or not. And if you're playing the game Resurgence, what do you think of it? Are you enjoying it? Uh, I'm definitely going to be buying it uh, for PC. That's uh, the only platform I have that can play it. But uh, definitely, definitely going to be checking that out. So speaking of which, other comics, I mean, man, we have so many IDW comic series coming out. There's the Star Trek flagship series that's coming out, just titled Star Trek. There's already a spin-off series of that, Star Trek Defiant. I have so many comics to catch up on. There's going to be a lot of fodder for book club episodes, I think, once we finally get going on those. And also with regards to book club episodes coming out very shortly, just next week actually, is the Star Trek Discovery novel Somewhere to Belong by Dayton Ward. And we will, of course, be doing a book club episode about that as well and hopefully getting Dayton himself on the episode to talk about this novel. So... There you have it. That's the week's news from Star Trek. Sorry for the kind of weird format episode. I hope you've enjoyed me blathering on by myself for the last uh, 20 minutes or so. Just a short episode to catch you up on the week's Star Trek news. Please reach out positivelytrek at gmail.com if you have any comments on this episode or anything else to do with Star Trek. Join us in the Positively Trek discussion group on Facebook. We'd love to hear from you and your thoughts on anything and everything to do with Star Trek. Look forward to a return of normal episodes very soon. I hope you've enjoyed this little foray, uh, one-off kind of solo episode. And let me know if you enjoy this format. If you like this, maybe I'll do extra episodes beyond the regular ones that I do with Barry and others 
uh, and, and maybe news updates every once in a while. I, I don't know. Let me know. This was kind of fun. So I'm curious to see what everybody thinks. Thank you all so much for listening. I will see you in the next episode. Until then, as always, stay positive. Stay positive.